everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers at the University of Texas have reached a major milestone in the development of an Ebola vaccine. The West African Ebola outbreak that began in December 2013 has killed over 10,000 people, infected over 25,000, and caused a bit of temporary hysteria here in the U.S. last year when four cases were diagnosed and one person died of the infection. The 2013 outbreak is the worst Ebola epidemic in history and is still ongoing in the West African nations of Guinea, Sierra Leone, and Liberia. The new vaccine, developed by researchers at the University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston and biotech company Profectus Biosciences, has been tested on non-human primates and found to be effective after a single dose. It's what's known as a Trojan horse vaccine, as it consists of a harmless virus with an Ebola virus contained within it, which triggers an immune response against Ebola. The vaccine was built with the Mayinga strain of Ebola in mind, which was the first version of the virus to be discovered, but it has also been shown to be effective against the Makona strain, which is the version of the virus responsible for most of the infections in the current outbreak. The researchers stress they aren't ready to start manufacturing and distributing this vaccine quite yet, but this study is a big step in that direction. The study is published in the journal Nature. Next up, physicists in Paris have achieved quantum interference between two atoms for the first time. Indistinguishable particles are particles with the exact same properties in the exact same state as each other. Some of the strangest aspects of quantum physics can be demonstrated by manipulating indistinguishable particles, including quantum interference. The most famous demonstration of quantum interference is the double slit experiment, but there is also the Hong, O, and Mandel effect, which occurs when two indistinguishable photons are fired from opposite directions at a semi-transparent mirror. Normally, particles fired at the mirror have a 50-50 chance of being either reflected by the mirror or passing through the mirror. Indistinguishable particles always emerge from the mirror together. That is, one always passes through and one is always reflected. Hong, O, and Mandel demonstrated this using photons in 1987. Now, scientists at the French National Center for Scientific Research and the University of Paris Sud have achieved the same effect using indistinguishable helium atoms. It's the first time quantum interference has been demonstrated using matter instead of light. The capability to control the quantum properties of atoms could prove vital in the ongoing development of quantum computing and communication systems. This study is also published in the journal Nature. And finally, astronomers have confirmed the presence of complex organic molecules in a still-forming star system. The star in question is MWC 480. It's about 455 light years away, twice the mass of our Sun, and surrounded by a protoplanetary disk, a rotating molecular cloud from which objects such as planets can form. Observations of MWC 480 using the ALMA radio telescope have confirmed the presence of large amounts of methyl cyanide and hydrogen cyanide in the protoplanetary disk. Not only is this the first time complex organic molecules have been detected in a young, developing star system, the concentrations of cyanides are similar to those thought to have existed during the early evolution of our own solar system. Cyanides are important because they allow for the formation of amino acids, the building blocks of life. This study is published, wait for it, in the journal Nature, which scores the hat trick this week. Way to go, Nature. An effective single-dose Ebola vaccine is being developed, quantum interference is demonstrated using matter for the first time, and complex organic molecules are discovered in an infant solar system 400 light-years away. That's the good news. You don't think so? I'm going to tell them they can test that Ebola vaccine on you. What do you think? <laughs>